We are 3D printing uh, face shields for first responders and what that entails is 3D printing a visor like piece that goes across the forehead and it has rivets on it that allow a um, clear sheet of plastic to hang down in front of the face made to be worn in conjunction with your normal face mask so it's just giving an extra layer of protection. The original idea did come from several people at once basically and it became a group effort and um, our director Eva was on board with it and reached out and made some connections with those who might need them and we were able to uh, do a few prints as, to test the feasibility of whether it would even be possible with our equipment to do. As soon as we realized that it was, we've launched into full production. At the time, uh, we were working with logistics and trying to get appropriate PPE for our frontline first responders. And uh, face shields is one of the biggest challenges that we're having to get a hold of. What's special about this is, is it's, it's made by our fellow city staff members using city resources. And so they sat down and came up with an idea, something totally out of their lane, out of their wheelhouse, if you will, and uh, solve something for public safety. And, and it's great to know that there's such a city organization behind us helping us uh, take care of patients out there. Most of us who work here at the library get into this because we want to help our community and we want to help people. And being closed right now, not being able to do that kind of was driving me a little crazy, to be honest. You know, and I know that there are things out there that we could be doing and to find something that we could do was just amazing.